shows the next question, number 23. For a tachometer, if theta of t is the rotor displacement in radians, that's n. Okay. E of t is the output voltage and kt is the tachometer constant in volts per radian per second. Then the transfer function of E of s by theta of s will be given as, okay. So, this is theta of s, if that isn't clear. Okay. So, I hope everything is clear so far. Now, the given options are kt into s square kt by s, kt into s, and kt. Now, this is of course in terms of uh, Laplace transform or s domain. Now, for a tachometer, the first thing we will have to do is write down the voltage equation. So, the voltage equation over here we have been given that the output voltage is E of t. So, E of t is given as the tachometer constant kt into d theta by dt. Okay? So, this is in time domain. Now, if we are to convert this into s domain, what happens? Now, here we have E of t will become E of s. The constant kt d theta by dt can be written as s into kt into theta of s. Now, the transfer function is in terms of E of s by theta of s. So, this can be further written as E of s divided by, now I am going to bring this down, theta of s. What is left out? S into kt. Now, check where does this option come under? It comes under option C. So, kt into s is the final answer here for the transfer function of the tachometer.